Welcome to episode 2 of the explainer series. Let's find out all that you need to know about this electricity billing cycle that is June or July 2020 in Tamil Nadu. This billing cycle, your electricity bill amount could have shocked you. Well, here's what happened. During the COVID-19 outbreak, a lockdown came into force in Tamil Nadu on the 24th of March. A needed assessment was not carried out for residential electricity consumption in the state. With no accurate consumption information, Tangentco announced on April 14th that it would be adopting the previous month billing, implying that if you were a consumer who paid an electricity bill in the month of February, you would pay the same amount in April. Similarly, if you were a consumer who paid an electricity bill in the month of March, you would pay the same amount in the month of May. Two months of the lockdown period passed and the meter assessment resumed in the first week of June. Subsequently, billing for the period appeared to shock electricity consumers across the state. Several concerns were raised around the unusually high bill amounts. Consumers complained that there was an unfair billing method in place and there were incorrect calculations made. At this point, it was highlighted that the billing period was a summer under lockdown. This meant that along with the increased number of consumers staying home for longer hours of the day, the seasonal variation, which is the summer months being the peak consumption period in a year, also contributed to the increased usage of electricity. Added to this, when consumers were charged for units accumulated from the previous billing cycle, the variance was stark and the billing method was questioned. So to go over the billing method, let's take an example of a consumer who pays his bill in odd months of the year, that is March, May and July. In the month of March, he pays Rs. 830 for 400 units of consumption. In the month of May, he pays the exact 830 rupees without knowing the actual consumption for the period. Now in July, he is informed that he has consumed 920 units since the last time he was assessed, which is early March. In this case, the 920 units is divided by 2. The divided units are then treated as two separate billing cycles and charges are applied as per the slab rate. In this case, we arrive at a bill amount of Rs. 2020 for the four-month period, from which the previous bill amount of Rs. 830 is deducted to make up the final amount payable. Consumer representatives who found this method to be arbitrary and unjust filed a case against the manner of calculations on June 13, 2020. By the 6th of July, Tangentco represented that the calculation it adopted was in line with the regulations and within the provisions of the Electricity Act. On hearing both sides, the Madras High Court dismissed the case on July 15 and passed the order stating that the methodology was neither arbitrary nor unjust. But it highlighted that individual grievances should be worked out. Now let's talk about what you can do as a consumer if you had an unusually high bill that you could not make sense of. The first step would be to check your electricity bill amount. To do so, you can log on to Tangent Course website and choose the Billing Services tab on its webpage. Then click on the Online Payment option from the drop-down menu and log into your online account with your user ID and password. Once you have logged in, click on Account Summary and then on the latest electricity bill amount. You will now see a working sheet of how your bill amount for the period was calculated. If you do not have an online account, use CAG's bill calculator which is given in the link below. This can help you verify your bill amount. In this calculator, all you have to do is answer two questions. One, your consumption in the last four months and two, your previous electricity bill amount. You will now see the various charges applied and the amount payable. With this, you can verify the electricity bill amount that you were charged with for the set period of time. In case of any discrepancy or concerns around this bill amount, the first person to reach out would be the assistant engineer in the respective section office, which is also informally known as the local EB office. If you do not receive an adequate or satisfactory response from your local EB office, you can write to the chairman of Tangent Co's Consumer Grievance Redressal Forum in your distribution circle. With this, we've covered all that you need to know about the current billing cycle. 
If you are looking to follow more on the current debate and how consumer grievances around this can be resolved, listen to our podcast Studio CAG. This is now available on Spotify, iTunes and Google Podcasts. The link has been given in the description below. We'll now leave you with one last piece of information. Did you know that you can now make an advance payment on your electricity bill amount and also earn an interest for the same? Well, more on that in the next episode. Until then, write to us in the comment below and subscribe to CAG Chennai.